We are looking over here at a certain calculation related to the subnormal. What is that? We'll talk about it momentarily. Function x squared at x equals 3. Let's graph it out. x squared would look like this. Limited domain from 0 up to infinity. Here's my point 3 if I project it. And nothing here is drawn to scale. It'll be 3 comma 9. You put 3 in x squared, you have a 9. Here's my point p. I'm erasing this. If I were to draw a tangent to this, and I extend it only to my x-axis to that, my tangent would look something like this, and here it is right here. I purposely draw, drew this dash, because I'm going to erase it. Extend this down as a 90 degree line, a perpendicular. Draw here a perpendicular to what would have been your tangent, and it would extend like this. Now we have a bunch of items. This is going to be cut off right here at x-axis. I'm labeling this point P, as you know. This point here is T, this here is S, and this here is N. I have over here, with regards to my question here, the important point being this, this triangle you're looking at. You have here a P, an S, and an N. Your P, S over here is nothing other than delta Y. Your S, N, this segment S, N is your subnormal right here. Your segment P, N is your normal, and you know that from physics. Normal force and all of that is normally perpendicular to your object, especially on a plane. Anyhow, here's my PN, here's my S, and I'm looking at the length of this segment. How can I determine it? It's 90 degree, a right triangle right here. You can, there's a formula to determine the length of a subnormal. It's Y times your slope of your tangent line. What is the slope of this tangent line? Which, if you were to extend it all the way over, it'd be, what's the derivative of X squared? It's 2X. You put here the 3 value in place of that. You have a 2 times 3, it's equal to 6. I've determined this. What's my Y value? It's a Y value here. My length of the subnormal, which is a projection of your normal onto your x-axis, is equal to y times mt, 9 times your slope, which is 54. If I want to determine the length of that normal, I can, because I have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. What was my delta y? It was nothing other than 9. I have a 3 comma 0, 3 comma 9, the delta y is a 9. I, I can determine my length of my normal as being 9 squared plus this subnormal square, 54 square, and root, and you can calculate that. Our question was, what is the length of the subnormal? And I've given it to you, it's 54. The length of the subnormal is nothing other than your y value from your point of tangent contact times the slope of the tangent line at that contact. You're looking here at a specific segment, and that segment is your subnormal, which is a projection of your normal onto your x-axis by means of a certain angle between the two. Our answer 54 here is good.